Hello, and welcome to another Typing DNA video. I'm Adrian from the Customer Success Team, and today we're going to look at how to integrate Typing DNA Verify with a web application that is using PHP as a backend, and we're going to do this in under 10 minutes. Okay, let's get started. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any of the other Typing DNA products, feel free to get in touch at support at typingdna.com. Okay, first thing, we're going to need to create an account on typingdna.com. Then we're going to navigate to the dashboard where we're going to get access to the client ID, client secret, and the application ID. I have created a very basic, simple application that looks like this. And I'm going to add here in the body a very simple header, which will say typing DNA verify. Okay, I'm going to restart my services and then I'm going to navigate to my local host. Okay, now what I wanted to mention that due to security reasons, typing DNA verify will not run on local host. And in order to get around this problem, we're going to use ngrock. So ngrock is an application that will provide you with a public link that will be redirected will redirect the user to your local host. So that means that when I use this link, I will be redirected to my web page that is running on local host. Now, please make sure that you always use HTTPS, otherwise the full functionality of typing DNA will not work. Next, we're going to notify the integration in the Verify dashboard that this will be our link. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to integration and specify the domain. Please only specify the domain and not and remove HTTP or HTTPS from the link that you're publishing here. Then we're going to take this um, application ID and we're going to paste it into our code. OK, let's continue with the integration. One other thing that we will need to do is we're going to need to download the Typing DNA Verify client from the Typing DNA GitHub. And this can be found on github.com Typing DNA, Typing DNA Verify client in the PHP section. Okay, let's continue with the integration. Now that I have downloaded the Typing DNA Verify client, the next step would be to include it into our project. Then we're going to generate our variable that will contain the client ID, application ID, and the secret, which all can be found on the Typing DNA Verify dashboard. Next, we're going to generate the right attributes in order to create um, Typing DNA Verify. For this demo, we are going to use phone number as a root of trust. Alternatively, you can use email address, but we strongly recommend to only use phone number for your entire integration for all your end users. If you populate both phone numbers and email address, which we do not recommend, the email address will be ignored completely and only the phone number will be used as the root of trust. Okay. One other thing that we will need to do in order to create the Typing DNA uh, Verify screen is to include this JavaScript, which will contain all the information required. Then we're going to add the button. Now let's go ahead and see how our Typing DNA Verify button will look like. It has, it will require three pieces of information, the client ID, the application ID, and the payload, which were all generated by the get data attributes class. Okay, once the full verification is completed, a callback function will be called. So what will happen is at the end of the typing DNA verify process, the callback function will be activated and will contain a payload containing the one time password. What this one time password will be used is we're going to take it, send it in an API call alongside the phone number to typing DNA and we're going to get a response back if the authentication was successful or not. Okay, let's go ahead and see how this function will look like. So it's a very simple callback function that will contain a payload. And what we're going to do is we're going to navigate the user to another page and we're going to pass the payload that 
the OTP of the payload as one of the parameters. For simplicity sakes, I'm going to use in this case uh, the get functionality. Um, obviously, you can use post for better security, and that's something that we recommend to do. So let's go ahead and create this verify OTP PHP file. Now make sure you save the index file, and then we're going to create the PHP code for our second file. Okay. Let's include the credentials, just like we did in the first file. Then we're going to include the typing DNA verify client. And we're going to generate our function just like we did previously. Next, we're going to take the one time password that was generated and we're going to validate our OTP against the phone number that we used as a root of trust. OK, and then we're going to print the response. Save the file. We're going to restart our server just to make sure that the latest version of the code is generated. And then we're going to go and test our application. There you go. Our button is now available. So let's click on it. And then I'm presented with the four words that are unique for me. And there you go. The response that we got back from the typing DNA server was that we got a success. And that includes our typing DNA verify integration with three minutes to spare. If you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch with the typing DNA team via the email support at typingdna.com. Thank you very much.